Well, there's a, a couple of major components. There's a list of project requirements, which are sort of things you need to do as a minimum to be considered a green road, right? You gotta hit all of those. Then there's actually a, a whole bunch of what we call voluntary credits that the project team associated with roadway design and construction can pursue. What, you know, they can choose to pursue whatever ones they want. Then you sum total up all the points in the project require, or in the uh, voluntary credits and then you come up with a score and you can actually use that score to certify at a certain level. So within the project requirements there are major categories such as environment and water, um, construction materials, uh, construction activities, um, access and equity, all sorts of big things. So you know a typical credits might be use, using recycled materials, using local materials, providing bicycle access, providing pedestrian access, uh, cultural outreach associated with the road, scenic views associated with the road, um, providing uh, ecological connectivity through a road, you know, because roads are generally big long ribbons that divide things, and so how do you undivide things? And so I started working with him on green roads, and um, my background with structural engineering and uh, the lead rating system kind of put me into a, a, a really nice place where I could feel like I was making a difference because in roads we don't have a rating system for sustainability. So what we used is we used the lead model to build it and my familiarity with the system and my background in professional practice and also um, basically my understanding of sustainability made that interests kind of fall together. We would like to be the preferred or the premier or the, the known rating system for roadways in the United States. It's kind of a lofty goal. We'll see if we get there. Um, but uh, our goal is basically, and what Green Roads can do is basically apply this rating system to pretty much any roadway project, whether it's a brand new one or it's a rehabilitation of an existing road, you know, widening or whatever the case may be. And, um, you know, that, that implies a, a pretty big industry that it, it could cover. So, you know, sort of typically these days about, there's about $87 billion in uh, highways and streets put in place every year in the United States. So, you know, a pretty hefty chunk of the construction industry involves roadways.